Okay, is everybody ready? Fantastic. So now that we have watched the video on Romeo and Juliet, Act 4, Scenes 1 to 3, and watched that for a second time, and now that I can see that you've all underlined some key words that you will need in answering the question, and I can see that some of you as well have already started to answer them, I think we can now move on to answering the questions together. Now, before we do, I thought we can go over some key parts that you will need to know in order to answer the questions. And they're broken up into these parts, which are characters, vocabulary, and themes. So the characters, just as we talked about before, are the people that are in the play. So who you hear about, such as Juliet, Friar Lawrence, Paris, uh, Capulet, Lady Capulet, and the nurse. Next, we have vocabulary that you may or may not know. You have vial or a vial, nurse or nurse, friar, a friar, and obedience. Next, we have the themes. So mainly what the text is about, which are about death, obedience, and love. And this will be very important, not just in today's class, but in developing your writing for the text analysis. Now, before I move on, does anyone have any questions? Would you like to ask some questions? Yes. Uh, what was yours? Oh, what is a vial? Very good question. And we'll get to that as I'm going through the board right here. So we'll start off with the characters first, but hold on to that question because we'll come back to it in a second. Now, Juliet, who is one of the main characters, and she is very much in love with Romeo. So let me just draw a little heart right there, because that will be important when we come to our theme of love, just down here. Next, we have Friar Lawrence, who is the person that makes the vial right here for Juliet. So Juliet is very much in love with Romeo. They want to be together, but they can't. So the friar helps them. Next, we have Paris. Paris is in love with Juliet, but Juliet is not in love with Paris. She does not want to marry him, even though her dad, Capulet, and her mum all want her to do so, because from the same family. And then moving on to that, we have Capulet, which is Juliet's father, who wants Juliet to marry Paris, and Lady Capulet, who also agrees. Juliet loves Romeo, as we see right here. Uh, but Juliet does not love Paris. Put a little cross right there. So that's an important part. Next, we have the nurse as well, who is a key helper for Juliet and also works for Capulet and Lady Capulet. So now we'll move on to some of the vocabulary. And as you can see right here, we have two important parts from the characters. We have Briar and we have Nurse. So first let's talk about what a Friar is. A Friar is a religious person back in the olden days, much like a priest. But Friars would also act like doctors as well. They would prescribe potions. Well, potions mean medicine back in those days. So he is the person who gave Juliet the vial. Now, what is a vial? What does that look like right there? Yes, what do you think it looks like? A bottle, very good. It is a bottle. And what do you think the liquid is? Medicine, excellent. It is a kind of medicine. And one important thing about this is that vials are bottles that are very small. So that's a key thing to know. Small so it is easy for Juliet to hide it. Very good. So Friar Lawrence right here gave Juliet a vial full of this medicine or a potion uh, that would make Juliet seem dead. Fake death. Next we'll move on to nurse. Now I know that many of you will be familiar with that word, but I will just repeat it. Uh, a nurse is someone who works in healthcare, making people better, helping sick people. 
So similar to a job of a doctor, but not quite the same. More of a, a helper. And next we have the word obedience. Now obedience is a bit more tricky. It's not a thing. Rather, it's more of an idea. So we have the two people right here, and what is this person doing? Yep, they're pointing. Very good. They're pointing at this person. So what do you think that means? That's all right. Do you think that they're, they're making fun of them? No. That's okay, I'll go on. They're actually, this person is telling that person what to do. If we have a look down here. This person down here is actually following what that person is saying. So that person is telling this person what to do, and this person is doing what they're told. So when you are doing what you're told, that is obedience. So... You can show obedience to many people. You can show obedience to your teachers. You can show obedience to your parents, especially your parents, as shown right here. <coughs> you can show obedience to the police or anything like that. It is all very, very important in this play. So if we move on. We have the themes, and obedience is one of the themes right here. The first one is death. Julia is willing to risk death in order to be with Romeo. So drinking this potion, she does not know if it will kill her or will um, allow her to fake her death. But the important idea is Julia would rather die... Than not be with Romeo. Very important part. And next we have obedience. Now, Juliet's parents want Juliet to be obedient, but she's not. She's actually being disobedient. She's showing disobedience. So, Juliet showing disobedience to her parents. And the final one down here is love. Oh, sorry. Which is very important because love is the main theme throughout the entire play. So Romeo's love for Juliet, Juliet's love for Romeo is what brings them two together and ultimately leads to their very unhappy ending which we'll discuss uh, in the next few classes. But now before we move on does anyone have any questions? No? All good? All good to start writing? Wonderful. I'll come around and see how you're going. And let's get started.